Hello, my name's Aaron, and I'm a technical marketing engineer on Cisco's SD-WAN product team. And in this video, we're going to explore some of the enhancements that have come to Cisco SD-WAN Cloud On-Ramp for Colocation. Now, if you're not familiar with Cloud On-Ramp for Colocation, check out some of the other videos here and here to get an idea of what the solution is and how it works. For those that may not have time, however, here's the gist. Colocations provide an excellent opportunity to optimize the middle mile, which is the area between your branches and the cloud. And oftentimes, this is the internet. By allowing subscribers to rent equipment, space, bandwidth, and power, a customer can provide data center-like benefits with much greater geographical coverage at a fraction of the cost. Colocations position themselves intentionally at the cloud edge so that they can offer the customer reasonably inexpensive, dedicated bandwidth into the cloud provider of their choice. Now, knowing this, our customers can strategically select colocation facilities that have close proximity to their branch users and, in effect, extend the cloud edge as close to the branch as we can get it. Now, Cloud on Ramp for Colocation allows organizations to not only stitch together an optimized path from the branch to the cloud, it also allows customers to virtualize any sort of network function they wish, meaning administrators can insert network functions like firewalls, malware protection, or optimization appliances into their user's transit path with relative ease. So Cloud on Ramp for Colocation has been establishing itself within the market for a year and a half or so now, but what's the latest with this feature and where are we going? As organizations continue to evolve their cloud strategy and more and more workloads are being pushed into the cloud, the need for ever-increasing bandwidth to the cloud is becoming paramount. And while most organizations aren't looking for 40 or 100 gigabit connectivity to the cloud yet, they will be. And perhaps just as importantly, as a managed service provider, you may already be flirting with these bandwidths as you offer service to your customers. And with that in mind, Cloud on Ramp for Colocation has been enhanced in a few ways to make your life easier. First, in an effort to keep the solution as turnkey as possible, Cisco introduced the Racked and Stacked option. When purchasing Cloud on Ramp for Colocation, customers can now opt to have their equipment delivered pre-racked, cabled, and ready for deployment. With this option, customers and MSPs can simply drop ship their pre-built rack directly to the colocation or hosting facility. And as long as someone is available at that facility to plug in power and uplink cables, the rack can bootstrap itself and join the SD-WAN fabric with minimal involvement by the administrator. The rack and stack option is available in two, four, or six CSP arrangements to provide ample compute for whatever endeavors await. Now, for those DIYers, however, the kit can also be purchased a la carte, and as a version 20.3 of vManage, we're a little less stringent on cabling schematics. Now, speaking of CSPs, Cisco also introduced support for the CSP5456 platform. While the solution still supports the 5444 platform, the 5456 allows for increased scalability to allow customers and MSPs to do more in the same physical footprint. Each CSP is equipped with 56 CPU cores, 192 gigs of RAM, 4.4 terabytes of disk storage, and a plethora of connectivity into and out of the chassis. And in the unlikely event of a hardware failure, CSPs can now quickly be swapped out without disruption to end-user traffic flows. But all this compute doesn't amount to much when you don't have a way of delivering traffic to and from the CSPs at scale. And for that, Cloud on Rent for Colocation is now leveraging the Catalyst 9500-48Y4C. This switch increases the port density of the solution for things like inserting a physical appliance into your service chains, but more importantly, provides uplink options that are on the order of 100 gigabits per second. With this kind of throughput and compute, customers and MSPs will be well positioned to virtualize any appliance of their choosing with the assurance that the hardware underneath can support the high bandwidth they desire. For our larger customers, and in particular managed service providers who wish to offer Cloud on for Colocation as a service to their customers, we now also support multi tenancy and service chain cloning. With multi tenancy, a single Cloud on for Colocation physical cluster can be used to virtualize network functions for multiple customers or lines of business. Not only does this ensure that customer service chains and the data they transmit remain segregated, but also, just as important, management and monitoring capabilities of these chains can be given to the customer or end user. In this way, administrators of large-scale enterprises and MSPs can deliver high-speed cloud access with service chaining capability while supporting an as-needed consumption model that is managed by the end user or customer. Thank you for joining me on our brief update of the Cloud on Ramp for Colocation solution. I keep checking back often for more updates on Cisco SD-WAN and all the features that can help you conquer your cloud initiatives.